what is up my crazy subscribers this is Joe King Johnson before I'm here showing you guys a gameplay here on free for all in the strike zone map and also I'm using a weapon that pretty much rarely anybody uses now I'm thinking right now I think this is the biggest underdog weapon in the whole bunch in the whole pack and the whole uh, weapon you know set of Call of Duty Ghost because I know maybe like around one out of five games I see someone using the K7 and it's mostly being used by campers you know I've mostly been killed by the case and by campers but it's every like one out of five games I've been noticing that and um, you know so I'm guessing right now maybe I figured out something where uh, you know not a lot of youtubers are finding out on so the K7 what I'm gonna tell you right now it's very goddamn stable it's very powerful no do not look at the stats look at the gameplay it's goddamn powerful it's accurate doesn't shake a lot it's just the way that I have it set up it's just too perfect it's way too perfect and also I think it can compete with my vector CRB God mode if you guys saw that video like around um, Sunday I think it was on Sunday the best class setup for the vector CRB God mode uh, that was one of my top classes I ever created here in Call of Duty and uh, I've done it before I've done it in Black Ops 2 I've done the Scorpion Evil God mode and it worked perfectly well I got like 80 kills the highest and uh, it was a hell of a gun so um, you know after two God modes and I figured out something else with the K7 I'm like thinking like god damn this is not even God mode but I'm doing a hell of a job with it so I'm very surprised I mean this is gonna leave you shocked use the K7 and it's gonna leave you very shocked because you never thought this gun was gonna perform like that and by the way I got killed by a care package right there it was pretty much embarrassing last time I got killed by a care package was in Modern Warfare 3 of course when they were all bouncy bouncy so anyway so uh, back to the gameplay as I told you guys use the K7 it's a hell of a gun and also the best class setup for the K7 which I will come up with uh, which is already done you know I don't need to change anything the gun is already set and I only tested out I only tested out this gun like for four hours. I played Call of Duty Ghosts for four hours on, on Sunday, and um, you know I pretty much you know discovered a lot of stuff about this gun. It's pretty much powerful. It doesn't matter if it has the silencer. It's a powerful gun. So um, the the best class setup will be coming out on Friday. So make sure you subscribe because if not you're gonna miss it. If you're still into Call of Duty Ghosts right now. Watch this best class setup. The K7. It's a great secret gun because only 9% of the community uses it and I got killed by my own C4 right there that's pretty embarrassing also don't worry I've done that before I killed myself with the with the freaking javelin in Modern Warfare 3 I've done it a few times in my funny lot of moments but anyways you know back to the gameplay <laughs> getting sidetracked um, the K7 I told you guys just use it test it out give it a little nudge and uh, you should do just fine and also, I discovered that the C4 is a lot better than Semtex. Screw the Semtex. This takes way too long to throw it. So, yeah, I recommend the C4 at all times. I mean, it's just a quick release. As you can see, you can see like several medium shots, medium range shots being shot perfectly. It's a perfect gun. It's a quick, react, re quick reacting gun. It just leaves you very like, you know, how is it doing this? I've never seen my Vector, K, uh, Vector CRB do this. I mean, it's a Gamo class, but... You know, it, I, I don't think it can keep up with this weapon, the K7. I, I literally think right now that the K7 can beat the Vector CRB. I think it's better sometimes. Because, you know, the way it's too stable, the way it shoots so smoothly into the enemy, is just like, it's like living in a freaking cloud. <laughs> it's like you're just walking in a cloud and just shooting everybody from the top of it. So it's pretty crazy, guys. I mean, just test it out, give it a nudge. And if you still can't figure it out, well, wait until Friday, because on Friday, I will reveal the best class setup for the K7. And it's going to help you a lot. And it's going to rack you up those kills. Because on Domination, I faced a whole British clan. And how did I know it was British? Because of the accents. And apparently, I didn't know that the, you know, the, the servers can actually be mi mixed up. So I will actually be going to the British servers, to the Australian servers, randomly. I didn't know that. So, uh, anyways, you know, back to the British clan. The reason why I knew they were British because of the accent and also because of the terrible connection. I was two seconds behind and I still whooped their asses. But we lost the match 189 to 200. We could have won the match, but I actually had the specialist kill streak. Imagine if I would have had the assault one because in that game I went like around 58 and 22 or something like, like, something like that. But it was a hell of a game and my highest kill streak was 10. 
So yeah, I would have been calling in choppers and stuff. So anyways, um, you know, thanks for watching, guys. It's going to be a best class ever for the K7 on Friday. Don't miss it. Subscribe for more. There's going to be more strategies about different SMGs in the future. So subscribe for more if you want more quality goals, guys.